we'll be showing you are our creations. Um, we have done this in a school at Marymount Academy where the um, the preschool up to the high school students made stuffs out of these plates. So he see how cool it is. You can so first of all, the materials that you will need, of course, are plates. So you can use plain white plates, or this is even a colored plate. This is this has been even um, like painted. But then you just make sure that you can your drawing or the paint your creation will be visible okay so so the first stint that we did okay the first since it was nutrition month in marymount we did uh, this was my example so i painted um vegetables fruits so kumain ng gulay so that means eat vegetables okay kids don't forget to eat but eat vegetables okay so this was my example and then what else so this one this was also my example so what i used here are acrylic paints so even me myself i am not perfect so um i even um studied how to do the strokes do some strokes using my brush and then i didn't even use just plain brush like i used toothpick and other stuffs that you can you can also use even your fingers but then kids don't try doing this by yourself okay make sure that you will have to ask the assistance of your mom or anybody any adult in your house to use acrylic paint using your hand okay but these are acrylic paints are water soluble anyway but then okay so and then we did another mother and daughter plate painting activity with rose veil and then so the night before we me and my daughter did a mother and daughter bonding where this was my daughter's so my, maya is my daughter she's already in high school and then she was the one who made this one and this was this is not just any any craft that you will be doing for the sake of it but then you will see the the artistic ability of your of your son or your daughter or or any kid that you will be doing this with right so it's not just for kids it's also for adults so even me myself i enjoyed making this or doing plate painting anyway so this was my creation i am fond of doing abstract since i am not i'm a self-confessed um like a good um drawer if you like okay so what I, it's just expressing myself like i can see the beautiful colors and the shapes and i appreciate those stuffs and then the bright colors and also i love music so i put it there and it's just a um a way of expressing yourself okay so so this was one train um practice that i did where um i also have a book where it teaches you how to use the how to um the different strokes of um of brushes okay so that's it. Um, I hope you you learned something from this video. And the last thing that uh, I want to I want to show you is this stand. This is very, very, very helpful since it it's for your creation to be decorated in your in your house or in your in your wherever you want it to. To wherever you want to display it right so that's it so what else did i miss so if you have any questions you just post them down and then down please comment and please like and um what else so what you will need with plate painting plates of course you can use colored ones but then make sure that 
um, it will also the colored ones would blend with the painting that you will have okay and then um, after painting the acrylic paint it will look matte so make sure that you will have the clear acrylic spray where after after drying up your painting you will spray it with clear acrylic spray so that it will look so glossy Th these plates look glossy already so I don't have an example of a, a matte but if you want it matte it would be fine okay so I don't want to um, take so much time but then um, this will be very enjoyable to kids and even for moms and for dads this is also um, very um, it's this is also therapeutic in a way okay so thank you so much don't forget my goodie box crafts and um, visit our Facebook account and please like our page so thank you very much and have a good day god bless you all thank you